Oh, oh God. Wait. Wait. It was the same fucking guy. Hi. Hi. Um, hi. Hi. I'm fucking hot, that's what's happening. Welcome back. <laughs> um, it's that time again. It is in fact time for episode three of Miss Demi Lovato's documentary. God, that light is bright. I'm nervous, right? I'm nervous, I'm scared. The last two were ridiculous. They really got me going, right? Um, and I've heard from you guys that episode three is even worse than that. Which, you know what, it's just fucking perfect to be honest. I don't quite know how we could get worse. Like in the last episode, we covered the overdose. But you know what, rather than me chatting even more, let's just fucking get his earphones in and let's just do it, eh? That's what I say, where are my earphones? Ha, huh? got them. Also, peep the new camera. My dad's running water. I love living with family. You're gonna notice that I keep looking at the side and that's because that's where the viewfinder is. So if I, you keep seeing me do this, that would be why. Let's let's stop talking. I've talked for long enough, okay? It's late, guys. I'm filming this late. Hi, just me editing. Um, just wanted to pop in and say, like I said in the last video, it might be a bit choppy and that's because I'm trying to avoid this video getting blocked and copyrighted. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of talking, a lot of cutting. So you've been warned. Also, there'll be parts where like, I'm trying to like remain upbeat. I don't want people to think that that's me trying to like make light of the situation. My defense mechanism is, is just to try and keep the video on a positive track or I would have cried. So, but yeah, onto the video, enjoy. If you're excited to see my thoughts to this fucking episode, then please do keep on watching. If you enjoy this video, please do like, comment, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Turn on those post notifications, that's also important. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter, they'll be, they'll be on the screen up there, as well as linked down below in the description. Check me out over there, and yeah, let's get into this episode. <gasps> I don't even know what we are doing. Okay. <sighs> I don't think I'm prepared, but you know what? It's fine. Right, let's go. Oh, fucking hell, that was loud. Turn that down a tad. After being released. God, isn't she beautiful? Isn't she just Not fucking goddamn gorgeous, eh? I got, like, death threats. People showed up at my apartment. Wait a minute. We're barely even into the episode and I'm already pissed off. Why? Why are people like that? Why are people sending people death threats? Oh, God, it f infuriates me. Why would you... You know what? It's fine. We're barely even into the fucking episode. I think we've done, done like one minute. Ready for this? Oh, I think so. Yeah. I, like I said, wait. I, hear your name. I think I read or I watched that like um, interview she did with the creator, obviously, obviously of of this documentary, and she said that her and Danny hadn't really spoken since the whole thing kind of went down. So was that when like they obviously saw each other before shooting? It looks like it because she's still prepping her to get ready. <gasps> Ooh, okay. She's gorgeous too. What the fuck? Everyone's beautiful. It was having to relive it. I can imagine because she was at her birthday party, wasn't she? Oh, if you've not watched my first two episodes of this, go watch. Screenshots from her fans just telling me to die and kill myself. And I would say like maybe four to five thousand a day. Again, again with people sending death threats. Where do people get off? Oh my God, this is gonna, this episode's gonna really take me on a wild ride. Ah! Uh, why would you send, the, you know what? I, I, you, if you're watching this and you're a Demi fan and you sent one of, one of these people death threats, honestly, I hope you know that wasn't the best thing to do. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. My fans are amazing but they're a little out of line sometimes. Get them fucking told. 
It was the hardest thing I've ever, I've ever had to deal with my whole life. <gasps> Don't fucking cry, bitch. Whoo, she's crying. I lost all my teaching jobs. No one. Wait, 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 wait. Did you hear what she just said? She lost all her teaching jobs. That's her livelihood, people. That is her livelihood. I don't understand. Oh my God, people ruin people's lives. Social media really just ruin people's lives these days. I had to rethink my whole future. All because of someone else's decision. Oh, honestly. Oh, I'm so happy that she's decided to give her side. Oh my God. Oh, and this song. I told you I was okay, but I was lying. I like that we're seeing like different scenes of this little thing Ooh, they shot. Ooh. Well, I'm grateful that you're sitting next to me today. And it's just really hitting me. And Demi Lovato, don't start fucking crying. Guys, this is the thing. When people start crying, it makes me want to cry. That's another one. It's just never left me. Oh, oh God. Yeah, he was there since, since I was 15. Wait, how old is Demi Lovato now? That's the question I've got. That's the question on everybody's lips. Demi Lovato age. She's 28. That means that that Glenn has been around. 13 years. Oh, gee. That's when you know, people. That's when you know they're the true... Mm-hmm. Absolutely. God, look at her. Her face. I tell you what, Demi Lovato, if you're watching this... You're not. But if you are, hi, bitch. Hit me up. She said, I love music. I want to get back into it. But I want new management. Oh, fuck. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, we've got Scooter Braun in this. Okay. Fuck me. What age was she when she first went to rehab and was saying that to that guy when she was 15? So you're telling me she was saying that from that age or like, so she's been saying that she wants new management for years. Fuck me. Also, didn't know Scooter Braun was in this. Guys, I will say, this whole thing with Scooter Braun, I'm kind of confused by it. Because obviously I've heard about, obviously, what happened in terms of Taylor Swift. But yeah, obviously I do know that, obviously, Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, like, all these big pop stars still are still signed with him and his label. It just baffles me. Like, I'm not sure he'd be my first pick. But I mean, obviously it was a good fit. He told me she was the only person she wanted to meet with. Those lips ain't real, are they? No one can try and tell me that those lips are real. I'm kind of a liability. Like, I don't know if people are going to want to work with me. <sighs> that breaks my heart, that does. She was never going to be around those people again. Wait, what people? Her management? Or the drug... I wish I could say the last night that I ever touched heroin was the night of my overdose, but it wasn't. <laughs> Wait! I just got goosies. Did you hear that? I mean, you did. I'm fucking stupid. I, I wish I could say that the last time I touched heroin was the night of my overdose, uh, overdose but it wasn't. Oh my God. She had another relapse. Oh no. I don't think I can handle another one. It was the same guy, I think. And Sire and I were not thrilled about that. Wait! Wait. It was the same fucking guy that abused her. Wait, I'm gonna need a second to try and wrap my head around this. What the fuck? The night that I came back from that retreat, I called him. The first night back. I wanted it now to be my choice. So is she saying the reason why she wanted him to come over is because she wanted to kind of, like, like, was she trying to, like, basically say, like, look, I'm in control of this situation. Like, although, like, you abused me, you took advantage, whatever, I'm not going to make that make me a victim. I'm going to show you that what you did hasn't affected me and kind of, like, just show that she's the one in control. <gasps> My God. And, I, yeah, I ended up getting high. I thought, how did I... Babes, oh my fucking God. And I said, no, I'm gonna f you. Whoa. 
So I was right. Oh, fucking hell. So she called him back. They obviously had sex again on her terms. So that was obviously her, like, reclaiming power like this fucking episode's title is. Oh my fucking God. I thought we were going to be reclaiming power in a whole different sense. That's why I came into this pretty upbeat and uh, optimistic. Fucking hell. Was there a specific reason that you had come forward sooner? Oh God, that's a heavy question. Fucking hell. Honestly, ever since I watched Rihanna and her pictures get leaked. See, it all comes back to the fucking media. Oh, guys, I tell you what. We've seen it time and time again. Like she said, Rihanna, great um, example there. Recently with Britney Spears, obviously like Britney fans knew it was happening all along, but like it's been like on a big, much bigger scale with Britney recently. It's come to our attention much more. Like we've had fucking Caroline Flack another one. It's ridiculous. What the media does to people really distills an emotion in me that is not positive, right? So she didn't come forward and say anything about this because obviously she was, she was scared of being publicly shamed by the media and the press and... And I will say as well, I've been seeing some fucking nasty stuff on Twitter, so I don't understand how people can be nasty about this situation. Like, people taking the piss of the situation, it makes me feel physically sick. It really infuriates me, but sorry. Sorry to get passionate, but it's not its not uncommon. Put it that way, it's not uncommon. I do understand that, though, because like, I'm sure from her perspective, she was thinking, like, if I come out and say this as well, people are going to think that's me, like, deflecting the situation and, like, trying to say, like, this was a reason, this was a factor as to why I overdosed and, like, why I let myself get to that point. That's what people would say. That's what people would spin. I lost uh, my virginity in a rape. Wait. Called that person back a month later. And tried to make it right by being in control. Oh my fucking God, it's, it, she's done it before. Guys, it's not the first. Oh my fucking god. Wait, and why are we seeing Camp Rock? Do not tell me it was... Oh my god. He filmed the first camp two years ago. Yes, and I this one. What do you think is the biggest change in you from two years ago? I've become more aware of just life and people in the way that, um, you know, the business works. And um, it's definitely for the better. I think that I'm able to protect myself a little more. Um, but also, um, I'm able to still learn more and teach other people. So it's been awesome. We were hooking up, but I said, hey, this is not going any farther. That didn't matter to them. They did it anyways. Who is it? Who is it? Do we have any idea? Do we have some theories? Guys, I did not think this was where this episode was gonna go, to be honest with you. I really didn't. Fucking hell. And then I had to see this person all the time. And so I stopped eating. Wait, so... So it was someone on the... That makes me think it's like someone in the cast of Camp Rock. Being 16, I've been through a lot, so... Come on, how much heartbreak can you have at 16? Oh, honey, if only you fucking knew. And, you know what, f*** it. I'm just gonna say it. What? Telling somebody that someone did this to me and they never got in trouble for it. There's the tea. That was so real. The way she said that whole thing, there was no bullshit. You could just see it all over her face that she just had to get it off her chest. The way she was like, you know what, fuck it. Oh, this woman, she is an inspiration. Okay, can we all agree? Inspiration. Oh my God, Demi Lovato. I've got even more respect for her now. I, I had a lot for her before, but fucking hell. I don't know if Demi made the decision to go sober. That was really kind of the ultimatum that her team gave her is get sober, otherwise we won't be working with you. Honestly, this team, this really sheds a different light on um, Simply Complicated. It really does. I can't lie. That that documentary compared to this one. I love her. Do you ever think about giving up on her? No. We love to fucking hear it. Oh my God. We love to hear it. Uh, no. Did I want to bash her head in with a brick? Yes. <laughs> there have been a couple times where I thought if that's how she wants to go out, then God damn it, let her go out that way. 
Oh my god, that's... From my fucking sister. Oh my god. But I don't think you truly ever really give up on someone like that. It's a constant battle. As long as you tell me the truth, we'll work through it. That's good of him, that is. Okay, Scooter Braun. Thrives on using her music in a cathartic way. And that is... Oh my god, we're talking about anyone. One of her best, okay? One of her best. That song... The Grammys. Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad we're talking about the Grammys, because that performance, bitch. Ooh. Best believe she made her come back. <laughs> Guys, by the way, if I'm acting upbeat, it's because I don't want to cry. I'm trying to, like, keep myself in a stable mental state, okay? So I'm sorry if that comes across weird, but it's just my way of coping. I don't want to crown the internet. It's not for, it's not for me. It's not my fantasy. Please send me anywhere. We forget that she is legitimately the most incredible singer. Oof. And that is a statement. Like that key change at the end of anyone. Oh my God. Yeah, fucking stand up. That's about right. Yes, you fucking bitch. When. Oh, and that's the end. Happen. Oh, so the next episode is going to be about like what she's done through quarantine. Max. Guys, we're getting a whole episode of tea. Okay, guys, that was the end of the episode. You know what? Sad episode, absolutely. Shocking episode, more more than sad, in my opinion, right? I, I was obviously, like, really... <sighs> Some of the shit that she said in that episode took me aback, right? That's probably my favourite episode so far. Once again, I will just say, like, the reason why I was trying to remain upbeat was to stop myself from really getting to that place and really gonna cry on camera because that just ain't ain't the tea for me so i'm sorry if that came across weird to anybody i don't know if it did the thing is if you want to cry if you want to sob go watch demi's fucking documentary do you know what i mean i don't want to make us cry again with us watching this together do you know what i mean but guys that was that episode so next episode we're getting tea on the max situation because that situation oof, holy shit he had some bold things to say, didn't he? Anyway, we'll get into that next episode. But guys, I'm, I'm pretty sure this might have been a longer episode because I feel like I've spoken more throughout this one and like paused more. Yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's have a chat. I'll be down there. Let's, let's, let's conversate, right? I need that. If you enjoyed this video for whatever reason, please do like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Turn on those post notifications because that is important and I can see who hasn't. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter, they'll be on screen up there as well as link down below. And yeah, I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, love you guys lots. Goodbye. Bye guys. Oh my god.